Hi. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Hi, Hi Fatima. Nice to see you. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> How's Normita? I see Alex Aguilera. Very good. I got many people already. Hi, good evening. How's Glenda? Hello, Mary. Very nice. Hello. Yomara Guadalupe. Ana Dimas. Very good. So how's everybody? How was your day at work today? Fine. It was good? Good. All right, very Ooh, good. But some time. Yeah, but, it's tiring. It's it's good. Okay, that's nice. It's but good. Okay, very good to know. Well, remember that tomorrow we have no class, so that's good. You get to rest yeah. tomorrow from English a little bit. Yeah. All right. But remember that you need to work on your platform. <gasps> All right, so don't forget to work on the platform during the weekend, okay? Yes. All right, very good. So yesterday we were talking about simple past and? And what? And present perfect. perfect, okay? So we were talking about that. Uh, let me see, Daniel, when do we use simple past? Uh, when when action happened and it could happen again. Simple pass. Simple pass. Yes. Are you sure? Um, yes. Say it again. <laughs> Tell me again the definition, and then. Okay. When an action, what happened? What happened one time? Mm -hmm. And could happen. Again. <laughs> Are you sure that simple pass, Daniel? I see maybe be, uh, because I remember one of the phrase and I went to the London last week. Okay, so I went to London last week. It means what? That I, I will go again or that I finished already? It, it finished, but I will go again. No. 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 The simple... The simple past is an action that happened Happen in, the in the past and finished finish in, the in the past. past. Finish in the past. It's That's history. Right. It's history, yeah. It's not going to happen anymore. Like I yeah. can say, for example, this morning I ate a uh, tamal de lote. All right? I finished. Mm -hmm. I already ate it. Tomorrow you will eat tamal, but it's a new tamal. Yeah, it's a new tamal, all right? <laughs> Or maybe I will have some pupusas, all right? So it's, it's going to yeah. be different, okay? So remember yeah. the simple past, it's uh, the action began and finished. Okay. Whereas present and perfect... Happen, and, and, and not happen again. That's right, that's right. And the present perfect is what you were saying, that maybe it's gonna, it continues in the present, okay? And it continues also a little, a little bit in the future. For example, I can say... <laughs> I have uh, worked in the platform, but uh, the day is not finished, so maybe I can continue working a little bit after. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand that? Yeah, yeah. maybe you uh, will return to the task. Yeah, uh -huh, maybe, all right. Okay, do you guys remember, well, you're watching it here right now, but remember that for present perfect we have the auxiliary have and uh, has. Have, and has. have and has very good so when do i use when do i use uh, the auxiliary have for which people when i i, I use do we eat day. you or eat Okay, so remember I use have for I, you, we, day, and has for? He, she, it. He, she, it. All right, and what, when I want to make a negative statement, what do I do? A negative sentence. In that case of that, have is... Haven't and not. hasn't. Haven't and hasn't, all right, very good. Or have, have not, not or has not, not okay? Yes. So, Mario, what about when I want to ask a question in present perfect? In present perfect, I, yes. I use a uh, has first. Um, for example, 
Uh, has she? Uh-huh. Uh, has okay, uh, that's with has. And Shemara for has? Uh, can you repeat the question, please, teacher? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, um, how do I make a question using uh, the present perfect in the case of have? Ah, uh, when... Uh -huh, Simara. Auxiliary verb. When, yeah. mm -hmm. when we can, no, when we remember an action. What is the structure, Simara? That's my question. What do we use to make a question? Any, anybody else that can help me here, please? Yes, uh, how do you ever? Okay, so first I have have, all right, uh -huh. when I make a question, have, and then? Um, plus, subject, subject, uh, have you, uh -huh. plus, past part is in there, ever. Yeah, we can include the word ever, but not always. I mean, we can use it, but yeah, it's part okay. of the present perfect, but it's not an obligation. I can uh, say, have, have you watched the last, I don't know, a movie, uh -huh. all right, or have you ever been to New York? It depends on what you want to ask that you're going mm -hmm. to use ever, all right? Okay. okay. So Auxiliary my... verb. Yeah. Huh. Plus object plus past participle. That's right. Yes, that's what we were saying, all right? So have plus subject a plus past participle, or if you want to add ever, that's okay. All right? Now, if I ask you a question um, and your answer is positive, what is the short form? Have, have. Yes, I have. Oh, yes. yes, I have. And if it's negative, no, I no, have. I haven't. No, I haven't. Then what about with has? Yes, I has. Yes, I has. Yes, she, she. Perdón. Oh she my goodness. Has. Uh -huh. she yes, she has. No, has she or, or has no, one. he hasn't. Very good. All right. And then the verb in the past participle is the same for everybody. Okay. So for everybody, you're going to use the same verb. All right. Okay. Yesterday we did this one. All right. The past of uh, the past of make the past participle of make guys. Made. 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 All right. The past participle of go. 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 Gone. Gone. Drink. Drunk. Drunk. Okay. Feed. Fed. 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 Cut. 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 All right. Teach. Taught. 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 Guys, the pronunciation is T-O-T. Taught. 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 Yes, very good. All right. The past participle of eat. Eaten. Eaten. All right. The past participle of leave. Left. 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 All right. The past participle of see. Seen. The past participle of give. Given. Gave. Given. Given. Gave is in the simple past. The past participle <laughs> is given. All right, very good. Mm. So you guys know this, and this is what we did yesterday. All right. Uh, I'm going to do some practices. So take a picture of this, and I will send you to your groups right now. Teacher, could you put the previous previous slide? This one? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, finished? No. Yes, yes. All right, did you take a picture? Everybody took a picture? Yes. All I right, did. so let's go to the groups and let's start making those sentences. I mean, you have to use the past participle, all right? Or, I mean, you have to read it and let's see if you're making um, either either simple past or present perfect. And then we're gonna come back and I will um, assign more um, exercises, okay? So today is more like practicing. Mm 
make sure that you click on your group right away so everybody can have a partner to work with. Hi, Roxana. Where is everybody? <laughs> In the groups already, Roxana. They're practicing. Oh, excuse me, but I, I didn't remember. <laughs> this okay. is this is night, Bupusa's night. <laughs> oh, nice. Very good. No, you can join the group right now. That's okay, good. Yes, thanks. Yeah, join the group. Mm -hmm. They're practicing simple present, simple past, present perfect.
poner, ajá, vi, tiene razón, quiero ver, vi, ¿dónde está? Aquí creo que lo tengo, ah, es been, been. has been, ajá. Vaya, la otra sería John. Ah, siempre, ¿verdad? Sí, en ese, pero... Uy, borro, a saber que borro. Ya, ya le digo, borro. Hola. 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 Borro es prestar. Prestar. Uh -huh. A ver... Entonces, en pasado, ¿cómo sería? Borrowed, pasado, Pasada. participio o pasado simple. Mm, en los dos. Bo, Como ver. es verbo regular, queda igual en pasado simple y en pasado participio. Borrow. Oh, gracias. Mm -hmm. Vamos a singular. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería, yo has borrowed, borrowed is from me. Listo, y la siguiente. Siete es the shield. Y ahí vamos a poner eh, have. Uh -huh. Have. It. El pasado participio de it. Mm, no, quiero ver es. It. Es eaten. Ajá. Eight. Bueno, solo en pasado, eight. Ajá, sí, es solo porque lleva el verbo de, lleva la palabra head. Ajá. The children. The children. Y creo que ahí no llevaría have, sería the children eating. Si, va, si van a usar Ajá. el presente perfecto, necesita el auxiliar. Ajá. A ver si quiero ver. Entonces, Bien. have eating. Breakfast. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Glenda. Hi. Finished? No, finish. No escucho a Carlos. No escucho a Carlos. Carlos, ¿qué pasó? What happened, Carlos? Carlitos. ¿Y no pueden mandárselo por el chat? El del problema. Ajá, puede ser el micrófono, Carlos. Pero ¿y él nos escucha? No sé. Carlos. Hola. Mm -mm. Parece que no. Escríbale en el chat, Glenda. ¿Cómo hago para que solo él me, me lea? Ahorita solo entre él, usted y yo estamos, porque solo estamos nosotros tres en el grupo. Chat. Eh, donde dice... A ver acá. Para Alberto y everyone. Pero, no, solo para Alberto. Dele clic en Alberto. Ah, ya.
Hi, Ramiro. Hi, Jaime. Hi, Adriana. How are you doing? Hi. Finished? Uh, okay. Yes, I'm yes, finished. We're finished. Okay. All right. So we're going to go back then to the group. Hi, everybody finished? Bye. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. All right, so we're gonna check the answers. All right, so what is number one, guys? I have seen, I've seen, I have seen, seen, seen that before. film before. Seen before. All right, very good. All right, what about number two? We, we, have, we, have read. we have read. We have read. We have read. 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 The pronunciation is read, but the spelling is the same. Uh, red. Okay. So red. it sounds like the color, but the spelling is the same. Okay. Three English okay. books in class. What about my mother? My, my mother, mother has been has been in London. London. All right, twice, twice this year. Twice. year. Very good. My mother has been. What about number four? Young has borrowed. Young has borrowed. John Board has road. borrowed Board four cities from, from me. Four cities, okay. All right, what about number five? Hi, Noemi, no la había visto. Hi, five. Sí, justito. The children. Okay. The children, the children have, have eaten breakfast. Eaten breakfast. breakfast. Have eaten breakfast, all right. What about number six? Um, you have drunk you have all drunk. the coffee. You have drunk all the coffee, all the coffee. very good. And the last one? Be quiet. Be quiet. quiet. Be quiet. The film has started. Excellent, guys. Very good. Okay. Hoy va a ser un poquito más difícil. All right. Sure. I have. Yes. This is simple pass. That's present perfect. Uh, present perfect. Everything is present perfect. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have a question. Yes, Norma, what's your question? Uh, with my partner, we make a question. Uh -huh. In the last one, uh, we don't use it in the question. Be quiet. Okay. Only, only make the question. Uh, <laughs> It's correct to make the question in the number seven. Has the film started? Sure. Yeah, but because it's saying be quiet, it's an imperative. Okay. Imperative, you're giving an you're giving a command. You're giving an order. So you're saying the film has started. Por eso quiero que se callen, porque ya ha empezado la película. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. All right. Be quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Si no estuviera el be quiet, tuviera más sentido de decir, okay. has the firm started yet? All right. But in this case, because you have be quiet, the film has started, it should be um, affirmative. All right, Norma? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. So I'm going to say, yes. I don't know. Someone said yes. All right. So right now, guys, vamos a hacer un poquito más difícil solo para que terminen de practicar. What happened? Wait, give me a second here. We will continue. All right. So take a picture of letter A right now. Take a picture of letter A. Ahorita. Okay, and take a picture of letter B. Santo poder. <laughs> súbale, súbale, teacher. No van a tomarle de la C porque ah. la C todavía no. 
Y no, esa ya la movimos, pues, la, la A. Sí, pero lo que pasa es que no les quería enseñar la C todavía, no es. Eh. Ah. Pero no importa, sabe. no importa. Uh -huh. All right, A y B. Ahorita vamos a trabajar con A y B. Sí. Okay. All right, finished? Yes. Okay. So on part A, right? on part A, you have some sentences of the verbs in brackets. The verbs in brackets are the ones that you're going to put either in simple past or present perfect. Okay, you have to read. Depende del todo el contexto de la oración, you will decide. Ah, this is simple past, lo pongo en simple past. Ah, no, this is present perfect, then you put the auxiliary plus the PP of the verb, okay? And then for letter B, the same, you have to read the sentences or the questions and then decide which one is, which one is simple present and I mean simple present, sorry, simple past and which one is pa present perfect and why? Como sabe que una está siendo Pasado simple y la otra presente perfecto. Y hay unas palabras claves por ahí. All right? Yeah. Or All right. sign, sign. Sign word. All right, so let's go to your groups. Y ahí tienen para trabajar, all right? Asegúrese right. de darle clic a su grupo para que eh, pueda trabajar con alguien y no deja la, a su pareja ahí esperándolo. All right, so let's do it right now. Okay.
so I'm sorry. I forget my diary. My diary. Present perfect. I'm sorry. Mm. Are you sure? Yeah, because you write it in your day, every day, and you are you you are alive. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so the answer will be I'm sorry, I forget forget, forget. Hi Daniel, hi Norma. Hi teacher. Hi teacher. The number two is present perfect, teacher. I think that maybe it could be simple past. I think it's present perfect. What do you think, teacher? We need some help. What is the teacher? Teacher, I need you. She has gone. No. No, she has Okay. Continue. <laughs> okay, I'm I sorry. I think that it's a simple, simple person. Okay, is there, I forget. I forgot, forgot my diary. The number four last Monday. Last Monday, she has she checked, checked, checked her computer. Her computer. I present. Last Monday. Last Monday. Hi, Norma. Hi, teacher. I need, I need you in the to exercise. Hi, Walter. What? Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. You finished? Uh, we are uh, in letter B. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Okay, Walter, number one. We have to to select if the sentences is in which state. Alexander Fleming discover. Alexander. Num number one. Uh, Letter A is simple pass. Okay. And B, uh, you had to, to uh, just in the case of letter B, just the cover. Is the, is to form or uh, to say the same, the same teacher? For which one? Uh, for example, Alexander Fleming discovered it. Uh, Alexander discovered. Fleming discovered it. it uh, uh, the same to form the uh, both sentences are simple past. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the case number two. But in number one, you say uh, they're both, in this case, they're both simple past. But does yes. it sense to you if I say Alexander Fleming just discovered penicillin? Because when I say just discovered, it's acaba de, de, acaba de descubrirlo. And that's mm -hmm. not true. Yeah. Uh -huh. So from no. A, I mean, both of them are correct because they're using simple past. But one mm. of them is even more correct. The, no, no, the letter A. Yeah, the letter, letter A. a is that's right. Yeah. A. Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. if I say just discovered, lo descubrió ayer. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And that's not possible because that was a long time ago. Jeez. <laughs> okay. And number two. Let me see the yeah, right, yes, right, 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 right. 
Uh, in this case, I think is um, letter A. Yes. Number three, uh, we have clean. We have clean the candles. Uh, letter A. For you, it's letter A. Yes. We have just. Cleaned. We have cleaned the No, car. no. Uh, number, no, letter just B. never. Letter B. We go in this case. Yeah. Happen some a few moments. Remember that sometimes present perfect is not very uh, specific. Mm -hmm. yes, and if you say last Thursday, you're telling me on a specific day. All right. All right, yes. Mm -hmm. There are B in this case. That's right. Okay. okay. There are four. My grandmother has been. My grandmother. What the meaning of go, go up? Se levantó. Oh, yeah, get up, go up. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna go but, see another group, okay? Okay. Yes. Letter A, in this case, my grandmother. Hey, Ana. Okay. With, eh, cuando dice yet, es como ahorita. Ahora. Aún. Todavía. Aún. O aún. Uh -huh. Entonces, uy, o solo que el, el, el está escribiendo el maestro, todo, está escribiendo, está en la bici todavía el maestro. No, porque dice que se estuvo dos horas, ya está en pasado. Ajá. Es ya la uno. Uh -huh. Veamos la, la tres. Suba la unito, este, ahí está. A la tres. We have cleaned the car last Thursday. We have just we cleaned have the car. Cleaned the car. Sería la, la B. You have, you have just. Ajá, la B. Just cleaning. No sería la A. We have no. cleaned the car last Thursday. No, porque dice nosotros hemos lavado el carro el pasado jueves. No, tendría que decir we cleaned the car. Lavamos el carro el jueves pasado. Y ahí dice. Acuérdense que cuando hablamos del pasado simple. Nos da un tiempo específico en el cual terminó la acción. No Correcto. así presente perfecto. No tiene sentido si me está diciendo cuándo terminó la acción. Si es presente. Correcto. Aquí, we have just cleaned the car. That's okay. right. The car. We okay. have cleaned just, we have just cleaned the car. Number four. Do you see the number four? Yes. My mother, my, grand, my grandmother my has already already got up got up my, my grandmother, grandmother got up an hour hours ago an hour ago mm -hmm. oh, number a the the, the letter the, the the letter a my grandmother has already got up got up uh -huh. Y la otra no tiene sentido. My mother, my grandmother got up an hour ago. My grandmother, my grandmother got up se levantó an hour hace cuatro ago. horas. Hace, hace una hora. Hace muchas Después, horas. Hace una hora. <risa> ah, the, the, sí, la ves, the, the letter B, porque mm -hmm. la de arriba dice ahorita se fue. Se acaba de ir y no, de verdad. O las dos. Ajá, en esa es como que my grandmother has already got up. Or yes. my grandmother got up an hour ago. That's Depends what you want to say. Ajá. Entonces podríamos poner las dos. Maybe, pero ah. se oye mejor aún la vez de las dos. My grandmother okay. got up an hour ago. Ok. okay. Number five. Mire, el, el, ahora no es. ¿Ve? El mercito is not in class today. Irresponsable. Total. Ay, como yo ni falto, niñas. Ah, sí, claro, of course. <laughs> ok. Uh, the letter G, you, you select the letter A. Letter B. Yo creí que era eh, A, 
Yo también, porque en la escritura dice have seen it. Ajá. Last Sunday. Es algo que ya pasó. Ajá, pero exacto. Ya pasó, ya terminó. Entonces es simple pass. That's cuando right. Cuando usamos have, uh -huh. cuando usamos have, eh, es, estamos hablando del pref, present perfect y es, usamos el, par, el pass participle. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces, cuando dice have clean, es como que si fuese un present perfect, pero también dice las uh -huh. tardes, okay. o sea, terminó. Ajá. Terminó. Entonces, por eso creo que es letter B. Sí, porque dice have just clean it. Clean. Yeah. Pero siempre sí. lleva el have. Sí, sí. sí. Pero eh, la, la confusión es que lo pone para igual nos confundamos porque al final sí la finaliza. Ajá. Porque le dice las las ajá, ajá. Entonces, ahí sí fuera eh, el letter B. Acuérdense que el presente perfecto no lleva un tiempo definido en el cual terminó la acción. Mientras que el pasado simple, sí, me da un término. Correcto, sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces sí. no tiene sentido la letra A uh -huh. porque me está diciendo las. Uh -huh. Thursday. Sí. Thursday. Uh -huh. Esa ya me dice que es un simple pass. Exactamente. Sí. No debería de llevar a Debería de ser pasado simple. Ajá. We clean. We clean. Ajá. We clean the car uh -huh. last Thursday. Last Thursday. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Number My four. grandmother has already cut up. My grandmother cut up an article. In, in number four, I think it's letter B. The, the red, red or snake. Teacher, uh, what meaning or rather snake? It's like a, cas a cascabel. Ah, uh, cascabel. Yeah, a snake is... A... Rattle snake. Rattle uh, is el rattle. ching ching. Ah, uh, okay. Rattle snake. Mm -hmm. okay. What number are you working on right now? We, ha we have finished. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Good job. We have finished, teacher. All right, very good. Just let me check one more group, one or two more groups, and then we're going to go back together, okay? Yeah, okay. Number seven. Hey, seven, seven. seven. Number seven. They have, they have never written at the written. 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 Okay. Written. They have never written a text message. They have not written, written. A message in the last lesson. I think it's a letter A. a. They have letter never a. written a text okay. message. Present perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you say last lesson, already finished. Yes. So that would be a simple past. Okay. Number eight. Number they just eight. went to town. They, they went to town went yesterday. To letter town. A. No. Letter town. B. Letter B. Okay. They went to town yesterday. Yes. They just went to town. Past. A. B. They're very simple past. Yes. Okay. Number nine. Nine. We already bought this car. Nine. Um, teacher, when you saw red, when when we use well, already? We use already, already when someone is already done. For number nine, for example. See, for example, we already car? bought this Maybe. car. It's like ya. Yeah. Ya. Ya hemos comprado el car. We bought this car. Y entonces, ¿en qué tiempo ocupamos? Pues así. En presente, en present, present perfect. Present perfect, ok. Bueno, mm -hmm. letter, letter B. Wow. Yeah. Letter B. 
we bought, we bought this car in 2003. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, and number 10. And the last one is Adriana. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> You're so tricky, Ramiro. That's not fair. Poor Adriana, eh? Yeah. Ladies first. Okay. Oh, listen to the Jaime. Very good. Letter B. Ank. Letter B. Ank moved to, to England in August, August 2006. Moved. with the. Moved. B. All right, guys, are we back? Yes. yes All right, yes. so let's Hello. quickly finish. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, so let's work on this one right here, guys. What is number one? For we work. We, work. we, we work. worked. We worked in a restaurant in May two thousand one. All right. Yeah. What about two? Jack has Jack. broken the window of the gym this morning. Mm, are you sure? No. Uh, Jack, Jack broke. Jack, Jack broke. broke the window of the gym. Window. This morning. Mm -hmm. The morning yes. finished already. Yeah. Very good. Number three. I'm sorry. I. Forgot. 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 I forgot. I have forgotten. I have you forgotten. Say, I'm sorry, I have forgotten my diary, or I'm sorry, I forgot my diary. I forgot my diary. I forgot my diary. I have. I have forgotten. Uh -huh, I have forgotten. It's actually both. It depends what you want to say. If your action is in simple past, it can be in simple past. But if your action is not complete yet, you can use present perfect. Mm -hmm. But the, the action the action is finishing in past. But it doesn't it doesn't tell you. It doesn't give you a specific time. So it could be either or. All right. Okay. Uh, let's go with the yeah. other one. Last Monday, she. No me digan check it. Check it. Check it. Last Check it. Check it. Check Sorry. She, that's okay. She checked her computer. Check her computer. Check What about number five? They? They have cleaned. They have cleaned the bike. They have cleaned the bike. It looks the bike. new again. It looks new again. So they have cleaned it. Very good. Number six. Yes. Two years ago, Mary. Two years ago, Mary visited. Visited. Yes. Two years ago, Mary visited. 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 Yes. Number seven. I. I, I haven't, haven't been, 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 been very yet. Excellent. Number eight. Yesterday we. Yesterday we played volleyball. 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 Yesterday we played volleyball. All right. Very good. Number nine. Have you ever done magic tricks? Excellent. Have you ever done magic tricks? All right. Number ten. The children. The children, the children haven't been cleaned the room. room. It's still dirty. Excellent. The children have not cleaned the room. It's still dirty. dirty. Excellent. All right. Very good. You guys are good. All right. Number letter B. Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin in 1928, or Alexander Fleming just discovered penicillin? Letter A. Porque Alexander Fleming ya no está aquí. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Pero no, no lo acaba de descubrir, eso sí sé. All right, number two. Did he ride his bike two hours ago or did he ride his bike yet? Letter A. a. Excellent. A. Very good. A. Number three. We have cleaned the car last Thursday or we in the car. 
A or B? A or B. 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 Very good. Or A. My grandmother has already got up or my mother got up an hour ago. Letter, Letter B. B. Letter B. Very good. Number five, I have not visited my uncle two weeks ago or I have Letter not B. visited my uncle yet. Letter B. Letter B. Excellent. Number six, have you ever seen a rattlesnake or have you seen a rattlesnake yesterday? Letter A. Have you ever seen a rattlesnake? A. 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 Letter A. A. Now, you know what a, a rattlesnake is? No. A oh. cascabel. Cascabel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> ¿Qué dijo? Que era una rata con cola. <laughs> con... Era, un, uh -huh. era una, una ¿Cuál rata. Dijo? <laughs> una rata culebra. <laughs> una rata culebra. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the new space. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. All right. All right. Very good. Number seven. They have never written a text message or they have not written a text message in the last lesson. Yes. Letter A. 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 They have, they just went to London or they, I mean, to town, sorry. They just <laughs> went to town or they went to town yesterday? Larry B. They went to town yesterday. All right, number nine, we already bought this car or we bought this car in 2003. Larry B. Very good. And the last one, Ank ever moved to England or Ank moved to England in August 2006? Letter B. Letter B. Very good, guys. Wow, you guys are super good. Nice. All right, so guys, we're going to go right now, okay? So tomorrow, no class, but you need, you have to finish the midterm, all right? So, yes. Ramiro, póngase las okay. pilas, Ramiro, all right? Para el lunes ya esté, okay. bueno, de hecho, tendrían que llegar a la casi que a la... Cuatro, que terminando las cuatro ya. Mínima, la mínima, otra semana mínima, solo les quedan las cinco y terminando. That's okay, teacher. All right, yeah. so make sure you that to, you have to you work. Have to make the mid -exam. Yeah, you have to make the mid the, the midterm and continue with number four. Yes. yes. All right, yes. para que la otra semana only section five and the final exam. Teacher, and we finish. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. Okay. So have a nice weekend. I'll see you Monday. All right. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.